Hi and welcome to jhudgens.com Tech Tips channel where I upload all kinds of very helpful networking, technology, and VoIP tutorials to help you in your business, hobby, or just around the house. If you like what you see here today and you find these tutorials helpful, please subscribe and click that bell because I'm constantly uploading very helpful content for the general public to use. In this Jay Hudgens Tech Tips video, I'm going to show you how to connect and program a Yealink EXP40 DSS side piece to a Yealink T46G VoIP phone. I'm going to show you how to do this manually on the side piece itself and through the Yealink web interface. And please note this application also works with the Yealink T48S and T48G model phones as well with these minimum firmware versions. Before we get started, I want to tell you about a company that specializes in almost everything telecom. This company is U.S. Tech. For years, U.S. Tech has been an industry leader in telephone systems, SIP protocol gateways, voice over IP, and UC client. U.S. Tech has a reputation of giving over-the-top tech support, and right now U.S. Tech is giving away free Yaling VoIP phones for every seat that you sign up for. They can even pre-program a system and have it shipped right away while they stay on standby for any reasonable assistance necessary. Is your phone bill too high? Let them drastically reduce your monthly bill using SIP protocol. Just click on the link in the description below to get a free quote and even a callback if needed. That's US Tech, your one-stop shop for everything telecom. They do it all for you. The first thing we want to do is connect the EXP40 to the T46G VoIP phone by using the cable that comes with the EXP40. If this is the first side piece being connected, plug the cable into the port labeled EXT-N on the EXP40. Then plug the other end into the port labeled EXT on the bottom of the T46G phone. The side piece will now say loading. When the load screen disappears, you are now ready to program up to 40 DSS keys on the EXP40 side piece. 20 on page 1 and 20 on page 2. I will now demonstrate how to program a button manually. First, you want to choose the button that you want to program and hold the button down for about 5 seconds or until you see expansion mode 1 key appear on the screen. Now go down to the arrows and arrow forward to the type that you want to choose. And now you would normally choose BLF key. For, to, for today's demonstration, we're going to choose intercom. Go ahead and arrow down to the account ID and label in value. We want to set these. You're going to leave the account ID at line one on all the buttons. For the label, you can choose the extension number or the name of the person that you're programming the button for. For value, you want to put the extension number. For this demonstration, we're just going to use 106. And then the last thing you're going to do is just push save. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to program the EXP40 using the web interface. To get to the web interface, you need to get the IP address of the T46G or T48 VoIP phone by pressing the OK button on the phone itself. You'll see the IP address there on the screen and enter that IP address into your web browser and then hit enter. Enter the username and password. Hit login. And up on the top, you're going to see DSS key. You want to hit that. And right now, the line keys 10 through 18 and 19 through 27, they're going to be the, the keys that you have programmed on your phone if you have any key. Uh, keys that are displaying on the display phone of your T46G or T48G. But for the expansion module, we want to go down to EXT key, the extension keys. And you can see here that the module is laid out here on the web interface like it is on the uh, side piece itself. You have key one here, key two over here, three, four, it goes back and forth. 
And on the side piece earlier, we manually configured button five on the EXP40. And you see I have already done some other buttons, button two, four, and six I've done on the web interface. And this is what it's gonna look like. But let's do another one. Let's, let's do key seven and eight. So what you wanna do is drop that down and we're gonna use BLF. And the value should be, let's put this uh, as 109. Label it, let's make it uh, Barry. And we're gonna keep that at line one. And then all we're gonna do is press confirm. Let's go ahead and do another one. Let's do button eight on this side. So you're gonna come down and let's choose BLF again and make this extension 110. Let's call him, oh, we'll call it a her, Sandy. Leave that at line one, press confirm. Now you're gonna be able to see all eight buttons on your DSS module, the EXP40. This concludes this Tech Tips video on how to connect and program a Yealink EXP40 DSS side piece to a Yealink T46G and T48G VoIP phone. Hey, you know a lot of people ask me, how do you record your computer screen like that? I tell them it's so easy with Camtasia from TechSmith. In my opinion, Camtasia is the most affordable and easiest recording software to learn. You don't need a big budget or fancy video editing skills. Simply record your screen, add a few effects, call outs, musical backgrounds, and bam, you're done. Upload it directly to YouTube or your computer or whatever video hosting site you choose. It's that easy. And right now, Camtasia is letting my friends try it out for free for one month. You can't lose with that deal. Just click on the link in the description below and start your free trial today.